so in this video i will discuss about capacitance and capacitor mainly some important formula on capacitance and capacitor so first of all capacitance of a conductor so capacitance is basically the charge required to increase potential of a conductor by unit amount <clears throat> so it is the capacitance of a conductor so capacitance c is the ratio of charge and potential the unit of capacitance the si unit of capacitance is farad so 1 farad is equal to 1 coulomb by 1 volt now farad is a big unit so other unit of capacitance are millifarad microfarad and picofarad so 1 millifarad is 10 to the power minus 3 farad 1 microfarad is 10 to the power minus 6 farad and 1 picofarad is 10 to the power minus 12 farad and the CGS unit of capacitance is stat farad or ESU of capacitance. So uh, since 1 farad is equal to 1 coulomb by 1 volt, so 1 coulomb is 3 into 10 to the power 9 ESU of charge and 1 volt is 1 by 300 ESU of potential. So 1 farad is 9 into 10 to the power 11 stat farad or ESU of capacitance. Now capacitance of a spherical conductor of radius r is c equal to 4 pi epsilon naught into r where epsilon naught is the permittivity in vacuum whose values is, value is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 coulomb square per newton meter square and the value of 4 pi epsilon naught is 1 by 9 into 10 to the power 9 or 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught the value of 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square now a problem on spherical capacitors yeah, i mean spherical conductor find the capacitance of a conducting sphere of radius 10 centimeter situated in air how much charge is required to rise its potential to 1000 volt so putting the formula c is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught r where r is 10 centimeter or it is 0 0.1 meter and 4 pi epsilon naught is 1 by 9 into 10 to the power 9 and putting this value we have the value of capacitance c equal to 11.1 .1 picofarad and the charge required to rise is potential to 1000 volt is q equal to cv and the value of c is 11.1 .1 into 10 to the power minus 12 and the value of v is 1000 volt so it is q equal to 1.1 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb now capacitor what is the capacitor capacitor is an electrical device which can store electric charge and electric energy so it is an arrangement of two conductor separated by an insulating medium and out of these two conductor one conductor is grounded and the capacitance of a capacitor c is the charge on either conductor and the potential difference between two conductor so difference between capacitance of a capacitor and capacitance of a conductor is that so in conductor it was potential but in capacitance is there are two conductor so in place of potential here we will say it is potential difference between two conductor now what will be 
the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor so parallel plate capacitor two plates are there separated by a distance d and area of each conductor is a and a plus charge q is given and the minus charge q will be induced in on the other conductor and electric field between two conductor e will be sigma by epsilon naught sigma is the charge density that is the charge per unit area q by a and potential difference between two conductor v will be equal to e into d and finally we have the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor c equal to epsilon naught a into epsilon naught a by d so this is the formula for parallel plate capacitor now capacitance of a spherical conductor so the shape of the capacitance is spherical here also two plates are there one of radius a another is radius b where b is greater than a then the capacitance of spherical capacitor will be c equal to 4 pi epsilon naught into a a b by b minus a and similarly capacitance of a cylindrical conductor it can be derived the c is equal to 2 pi epsilon naught l by log b by a and combination of capacitor when two or more capacitors are combined in series or in parallel combination then what will be the equivalent capacitance of the combination now first when the capacitors are connected in series then the equivalent capacitance will be 1 by c s equal to 1 by c 1 plus 1 by c 2 plus 1 by c 3 so this is the equivalent capacitance of the capacitor when they are connected in series in the parallel combination when capacitors are connected in parallel then the equivalent capacitance will be the sum of the individual capacitance so c p is equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 so this is the formula for capacitor where they are connected in parallel combination now the energy stored in a capacitor the formula is u equal to half c v square or this q square by 2c or half q into v now energy density it is the energy per unit volume it will be e equal to half epsilon naught into e square and e is the electric field inside the capacitor now common potential when two conductors one of charge q1 and other of charge q2 and potential v1 and v2 and their capacitance are c1 and c2 when they are connected by an wire then the common potential v will be total charge by total capacitance q1 plus q2 by c1 plus c2 or q can be written as c1 v1 plus c2 v2 by c1 plus c2 so this is the common potential and the energy loss on sharing of charge will be delta u equal to half c1 c2 by c1 plus c2 into v1 minus v2 whole square now dielectric constant so when a dielectric medium is inserted between two plates of a capacitor then the capacitance of the capacitor changes the dielectric constant of a dielectric medium can be defined as the ratio of the capacitance of the capacitor with dielectric as the medium and the capacitance of the capacitor when it is in vacuum c by c naught so dielectric constant can also be defined in terms of electric field e naught by e naught minus e naught 
minus E dash. But E naught is the electric field applied and E dash is the electric field induced due to polarization. I mean electric field set up due to polarization of the dielectric and which acts opposite direction to the applied electric field E naught. Now capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor filled with dielectric when a parallel uh, plate capacitor is filled with dielectric medium then the capacitance will be changed and the c will be k into c naught that is k epsilon naught a by d so in vacuum the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor was epsilon naught a by d but when and dielectric medium is inserted between two plates in capacitors changes and it will be k into epsilon naught a by d next is capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with a dielectric slab between its plate let's see a dielectric slab of thickness t is inserted between two plates of a parallel plate capacitor and the thickness of uh, I mean the distance of separation between two plates is D and then the capacitance will be changed and the capacitance of that combination will be C equal to epsilon naught A by D minus T into 1 minus 1 by K where K is the dielectric constant of the slab. Now capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with conducting slab between its plate. When a conducting slab is inserted just like a metallic slab between two plates of a capacitor then the capacitance will be changed and that will be simply epsilon naught A by D minus T where T is the thickness of the conducting slab. So these are the formula on the topic capacitance and capacitor so in the next video i will discuss some numerical problem on capacitance and capacitor okay thank you